Well, well, well. We are at Dr. Nitrous Brio. We gotta play as Crash. For this one. Unfortunately, the game does not let you handle boss fights as Coco. I do not know why. Maybe there's some lore reason. Brio is a beast. He is poopy. Uh, you have to jump on his things. For whatever reason, it hurts him. And he'll throw... Yeah, he'll throw exploding ones at you. He's... Uh, it's so weird. Oh, oh, no. Jumping on them is easier in the PS... Excuse me? Jumping on them is easier in the PS1 version. When you get down to the final... Oops. When you get down to the final three sections of of health bar for him, it's significantly easier. I jumping on these guys is just difficult. And it's weird. They have faces. In the PS1 version, they were just regular slime balls. They did not have a face. I don't know why they made them have a face in this version. I mean, it's it doesn't uh it doesn't take away from the game really. Like it it doesn't take away from the game. I just I find it like a weird design a weird design choice. I've Okay. 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 I think if you get too close he explodes. Like he'll he'll just straight up threaten to explode himself. Uh, yeah, like that. You can avoid it. I don't know how it doesn't hurt him. I don't know if there's like a method to like spin these guys to make it easier to jump on them. Like if it if it knocks them, it doesn't. It appears to not knock them out. Like it appears to. Uh, not stagger them. Which I find a little annoying. This guy is hard. He is very difficult. As you can tell, we're like at the top of Slippery Climb. So like he lives way up here. You can see the other mountains, the other, the other islands in the background. Now this is the one that's dangerous with the with the three slimes. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you. Mm -mm -mm. We had him done to last hit. That's the easy part. There's not a lot of room to maneuver for the potion for the for the purple potion of doom okay okay I think we got a plan I think we got a is this boss fight like is this oh. we gotta be up close when he starts potion chucking I... Mm. Can I just run left and right? Okay, we'll use an Uka. <laughs> I mean, if we have to. Hopefully we don't, like, waste it. Compared to the other bosses in this game, even compared to the final boss, this is the second to last boss. And compared to even the final boss himself, this guy is, he is the hardest boss in the game. Nitrous Brio is like the real bad guy. Cortex is like a chump. Oh no. Cortex is like a, a chump in comparison to 
Brio. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He drinks it. We gotta jump on the thing and then jump on his head. Or die? Oh boy. This video, this whole boss fight is gonna be the one video. It's hard to tell my depth perception. Honestly, my. I think I need glasses. I genuinely think. I might need glasses. My depth perception is so bad, especially like I'm I'm pretty sure I'm like nearsighted. So like it's just very hard to tell sometimes. It's really hard to tell sometimes. Oh, I I thought he was going to drink his potion. Shoot. That's what I get for, like, looking at the recording and not, like, paying attention. I think it goes right, left, right. No, it's, it's random. He, like, straight up hulks out. Like, Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, this part's easy. This part's easy. And he falls out and dies. We just straight up killed him. Unlike Papu Papu. That was an adventure. The lab. We get the yellow gem here. If we beat it without dying. This level... Is... Oh, it's a level. We gotta, we gotta time the doors with the floors. I think the doors can kill you even. Sometimes we can activate the floor ourselves. And then there's the Brio slimes. I think one of these is hiding a TNT. Yeah, that's super cruel. And then there's there's potion guys that we have to watch out for. Uh, no checkpoint yet. So this bonus round is our checkpoint. Um This does not count as a death. That doesn't count as an actual death. And I wasn't going to end the video after Brio just because of, uh... Dang it. I'm pretty sure there's more. Unless if I'm misremembering. Yeah, I missed two boxes. We are going to try to go for this one. I might as well. I'm taking the comfort that I can of being able to die without losing stuff. Dang it! I will get this. I I basically had it, but then I... I flipped. I, I freaked. And I fell. Hey, would you look at that? That's kind of difficult. I told you I'd get it that time. 
It used to be the bonus round, beating the bonus round used to be the only way to save the game. Like on PS1. Like that would be the only time you could save. Those guys used to Wilhelm scream in the PS1. Ugh. Shoot. Uh -huh. Potion mans are scary. We gotta watch out for that TNT. I like the music in this level, too. These guys are electrified a little bit before they do their electricity, but it's no big deal. Sorry for the moaning. Shoot. Ooh. I cheated. I cheated. I don't care about cheating. Success. We got a different color gem. We got the yellow gem instead of the orange gem. Beautiful. What level's next? The Great Hall. You know what? We'll do. Oh, we have to play as Crash. Oh, yeah. I know why. It depends on. Ooh, I don't know if we have enough gems. This is the level. This is the level right here. You just. You jump over and you're done. But depending on if you. How many gems you get. Like, you need all the colored gems to do it. And then you can save Tana. So you need all the gems. And we just can't do that. So there's Cortex. Uh, we'll do it. We'll fight him. Welcome to the end of Crash 1. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot. Look how easy this guy is. Oh, ha, ha, ha. We gotta watch out for the blue ones. They go all weird. They'll go up and down, too. Oh, I missed. Do. Shoot. Uh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. All right, beautiful, beautiful. And he'll like straight up rapid fire. I think the green ones can in fact hurt you. Yeah, and he's doing the, uh, the up and downs. Then we have to hit him with three. I think we just have to hit him with like two more single ones now. There we go. And I think he just shoots a green one. Yeah. The easiest ending right there. We beat Cortex. And we're under 15 minutes. It has been a journey. There's Tana. And we ride away on the giant blimp. It has been a journey. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you've made it through this journey, I thank you. Comment question is, were you correct? With how many lives I would have at the end. I certainly wasn't correct. 
I had a lot of fun playing this. It's been a while since I played Crash 1. It was a blast of the past. I'm sure... Did I die unnecessarily? Yeah, I, I died a lot. It, a lot of it was either, like, just me not paying attention or being impatient or whatever. A lot of the deaths could have been averted, but... The, the fact of the matter is, I still had fun while I was playing it. Even if at some points I sounded annoyed, I was still... I was still having fun. I, I still... Really, really enjoyed playing through the game. We're going to skip past the credits. And that's it. Now, are we going to do Stormy Ascent? No. I'm, I'm not going to do Stormy Ascent. Um, we are going to go all the way back to where it began. Insanity Beach. And that concludes... We're going to save... We ended with a total of 79%. So I want to thank you all again for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And we're going to go with whatever the wheel says for the next game. Take care.